Hey, it's Clay, owner of Zipper Rescue. Today I'll be showing the basics of zipper repair to set you up for success. Since creating the original Zipper Rescue kit in 1993, we've been refining our kits to include the quality parts you need to fix your favorite items. Let's start by identifying the basic parts of a zipper. All zippers have a slider. These commonly wear out or break and are easily replaced. Zipper teeth have three main types, metal tooth, plastic tooth, and nylon coil, which are all made in various sizes. If your zipper has visibly damaged or missing teeth, it may not be easily fixed using our kits. There are some exceptions, and you can contact us for more info. Zippers are used in many different ways, but there are two basic categories to identify, separating and non-separating. Separating zippers come apart completely at the bottom, and non-separating zippers have a closed end. Keep in mind, these styles are made with all types of teeth and sizes. For tools, you'll want wire snips. Any of these types will work. You'll also need some pliers. Needle nose or regular are best. To repair a bag with a non-separating zipper, first open the zipper and bring the slider all the way to the end. This can be a little tough, so you may have to force it just a bit. To remove the slider, make a small cut through the teeth on both sides of the zipper with your cutters. I'll note here, not all parts are the same quality. This is cheap, thin metal when compared to a quality YKK slider from the Zipper Rescue Kit. To select a replacement, use the sizing guide in the kit to closest match the shape and size of your slider. The shapes can vary slightly, and if you can't find one that works, contact us. We specialize in finding the exact match for our customers. To install a new slider, feed in one side of the zipper and then the other, making sure they're even. Select a bottom stop from the kit, puncture the fabric just in front of where you made your cut. And use your pliers to bend the prongs closed. This repair is nearly the same process for all non-separating zippers on any type of item. So now you can fix pants, backpacks, tents, luggage, purses, and any other of the thousands of items with this type of zipper. Now, we're gonna repair this sweatshirt which has a worn out separating zipper. Before we begin, let's talk about the parts at the bottom, called the box and pin. Whatever you do, don't remove these parts. It is nearly impossible to replace them with pliers. We've determined the only real fix if these are missing is to replace the whole zipper. We want to be clear, these are not included in the kit because we care about your success. It is our stance that selling these parts is dishonest because they are ultimately designed to be installed by a machine and not by hand. You can contact us for alternative box and pin repair options. Both the box and pin on this zipper look fine. So let's continue the sweatshirt repair. For tools, I'm using the snips and pliers again. Separate the zipper at the bottom and bring the slider up near the top stop. Cut the top stop off using your snips, flush against the fabric, and remove the old slider. It may take a little pulling to get it off the thick edge of the fabric. Again, we'll match the size and type. You can see here on the sizing guide, it's a five millimeter metal tooth. To install the new slider, you can make a tiny cut through the fabric edge at the very top to help slide it on easier. Test to make sure it's the right size. If the slider is too small or the teeth won't catch, first check similar sizes in the kit. If you can't find a match, contact us and we'll be happy to help. To finish, select a top stop from your kit. Crimp it on firmly with pliers and the zipper's like new again. This repair is much the same for any separating zipper on any type of item, including two-way separating zippers which are found on some jackets and sleeping bags. So now you know how to repair just about any type of zipper on earth. 
With global standards for all sizes and types of zippers, our zipper rescue kits make repairs easy. If you want help choosing the right kit, you can try the zipper wizard on our website and linked in the description below. This tool will determine if your zipper can be repaired and set you up with the right parts so you can purchase with confidence. Sometimes repairs don't go as planned. If you need help, it's best to use the contact forms on our website. You can trust that our customer service team is ready to find you solutions that work. Please watch our other instructional videos to learn about each kit and for specific item repairs. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.